this is an Acer Predator Helios 16 uh, laptop and uh, basically when the laptop starts loading you start pressing the F2 button and then you get into the BIOS settings. Uh, this is the main panel with basic information. If you want the advanced then press F1 that's what it says and it bring, brings down this information uh, with menu items on the left side and the details here very very advanced looking and uh, you can scroll through it be careful what kind of a changes you want to do if you don't know what you're doing then don't even think about touching it so gives you serial number all the details so very very advanced looking not like in the old days and uh, there are various options you can activate or deactivate these are the default settings so I'm not gonna change anything you just uh, wanted to look through and wanted to check if there's a bias update there's the advanced security boot and exit so let's go back to the basic setting and F10 is the exit mode okay save and exit save without exit without savings I don't want to change anything yes Okay, so in order to update the BIOS for my laptop, and pretty much the same goes for all laptop, all computers, first you have to go to your manufacturer's website and register the product. Okay, that's the easiest and best way. It takes a couple of minutes to register. Maybe you have uh, already an account because you had the brand before or other products. So in my case, uh, this is my registered product right here. Uh, this is the Acer uh, Predator Helios uh, 16 laptop. So I registered it and uh, when I click on it, it will bring down all the available uh, drivers, updates, etc, etc. Now, I have to go to BIOS, and mm, so basically you need to know exactly what you're doing and don't be an idiot when messing around with your BIOS because as there's this warning it's for a reason, okay? You can really mess up your computer and you can break it uh, if you don't know what you're doing. The good news is that, uh, as I will demonstrate it, the BIOS update, at least on this particular model, is very, very simple. Okay, so my BIOS currently is the 1.15, and I need to update to 1.16. So let's click download, and uh, I just want to go to downloads and download it over there. So let's show in the folder. There it is. And it will open it up. And we just kind of copy it. That's the way I do it, anyways. Um, and move it into your download folder or wherever you want. Like I said, I already did it, but this is just a demo. And uh, the great news is that, as you guys can see, this is an exe file, meaning executable file, a regular, like a program installation file. Not like in the old days when you had some special uh, BIOS file and you had to copy it onto of uh, SSD or flash drive, flash drive, USB flash drive, and then restart your computer, go into the BIOS, and go through sophisticated menu systems and find uh, the BIOS update option and had to be extremely careful because if you did something wrong, you could in fact harm your computer very, very seriously or even break it, meaning 
it it would become useless. So in that case, you had to send it back to the manufacturer uh, for a lot of money and fix it or have them fix it. Those days, luckily, are over. And you will see why. So this is basically an Excel file. All we have to do is just uh, shut down all the programs and anything, everything is open. And then just execute the file, basically just click on it. And that's how it will install the brand new latest BIOS. Okay, after downloading the latest BIOS, uh, it comes in a zip file. My version is 1.15 and this is 1.16. So I downloaded and extracted the file and now I'm going to run it. Windows uh, won't allow it immediately to run. It, it will ask you if you really want to. Uh, run this program and you say yes run anyways and uh, actually on my second monitor it shows up and yes at least uh, now I'm gonna see what it's gonna do and it's running some sort of a update and it tells me to leave it alone. So that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, it says restarting. Okay, here we go. Please do not remove the AC power. It's very important. So you have to run the BIOS upgrade wire plugged in. I'm always nervous when I do some something like this, you know, regarding these system updates because you <laughs> never know what happens and the uh, people sometimes experience, you know, problems that the PCs won't start or something so I don't know. I'm always a little bit nervous. Come on. All right, all right. All right. Oh, Mr. G is coming. There you go. There you go. That's the ultrawide right there. And this is the laptop screen. And just for confirmation, I entered the BIOS again. And in fact, it shows 1.16 now. Not sure what the difference is, but you know, if we can go to advanced, here are the options. So, yep, everything is fine. And let's step out of it. F10. It's going to ask if we save any changes. No, we do not save. Edit. Exit without saving. Are you sure? Yes. And here we go. Okay. Update. BIOS update. Is done. Concluded. Successful. Yay. Okay. Done. Bye bye. Yes, it's, 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 it's,